Hello, I'm Luisa Sparza, City Council candidate for the newly created District 2. Born and raised on the Mesa, my upbringing, education, and professional training all make me well suited to advocate for the needs of the neighborhood and for City Santa Barbara residents as a whole. I seek to follow a family tradition of civic service with siblings in law enforcement, city administration, and public education. I'm a local small business owner having maintained a private law practice the past dozen years. Throughout my career, I have volunteered with various local nonprofits and governmental entities. Uh, currently, I serve on the county civil grand jury for 2015 and 16, and the City of Santa Barbara Citizens Bond Oversight Committee, both of which exhibit my strong belief that government, especially local government, should remain accountable to the electorate, to the people. As your District 2 representative, I will work with the entire council, regardless of ideology, to protect our natural resources in our land, to improve public service and city infrastructure, and to exercise fat, sound fiscal judgment and management that is not dependent on the current favorable economic climate. Citywide, I will continue Santa Barbara's tradition as the birthplace of the environmental movement to keep our land, water, and air clean for future generations. I will promote the adoption of new technologies consistent with the city's recent steps towards community choice energy. I will advocate for updates to the municipal code that make a zoning ordinance easier to understand, better organized, and uniformly apply to the growing needs of our community. I will assure such growth is equitable and increases residential home ownership opportunities and rental uh, chances for all income level. Due attention will be placed on the vulnerable segments of our population, especially kids and seniors whose programs are often the first to be cut when funding does not meet expectations. Our city residents expect and deserve restoration of library, parks, and recreational opportunities. District-wide, I seek to build upon recent improvements to the Mesa and its surrounding areas. I support further restriping of Cliff Drive from Meg's Road westward towards Flora Vista Drive to enhance safety and encourage pedestrian and bicycle use. At a minimum, another crosswalk is likely needed in the area. I intend to foster the growth of community spirit by working with the Mesa Business Association and the Mesa Architects to identify areas of improvement for commerce and public space, and to renew focus on Cabrillo Boulevard, our beautiful harbor, and the industry it supports. I encourage all of you to timely turn in your ballot and respectfully ask District 2 to vote Esparza for City Council in the upcoming 2015 municipal election. Thank you. Hello, friends and neighbors. I am K. Missy McSweeney Zaitsoff. I'm running for Santa Barbara City Council in the newly created District 2. I have a strong resume acquired over years of hard work and life experience that have shaped my 69 years. I graduated from UCLA with a BA in English speech. I have a secondary teaching credential from the School of Education at UCLA. In 2012, I took classes in negotiation and mediation at Pepperdine University School of Law's Strauss Institute for Dispute Resolution. I am currently a guest teacher at Notre Dame School, Santa Barbara, and for Carpinteria Unified School District. I serve on the Fire and Police Commission for Santa Barbara, and I am Vice President of the Dingle, Ireland Sister City. I'm on the steering com committee of Coalition Against Gun Violence. I was on the very first Malibu City Council, was a recipient of the Malibu Times Citizen of the Year Dolphin Award, received a PTSA Honorary Service Award, and was Woman of the Year for my Assembly District 41. I have focused on at-risk youth during my career and have worked for st the State of California at the CYA Youth Prison in Camarillo and at Santa Barbara Juvenile Hall as a youth counselor and a juvenile institutions officer working for the Santa Barbara County Probation Department. My family lives in Santa Barbara, Montecito, and in the South Bay. I have four children and three grandchildren. My desire is to serve District 2 and the entire city in the areas of improvement for public safety, drinking water, infrastructure like sidewalks, bridges, roads, 101, neighborhood compliance with zoning, environmental protection issues, a required reserve fund, and the homeless increase. 
Small business incentives and corridors will have my attention. Santa Barbara parks need improvements and more programs for youth and adults are vital. District 2 has specific needs, a ban of illegal RV parking, housing for Santa Barbara City College students, waterfront issues including water quality construction, impacts of tourism, and Douglas Family Preserve trail improvement. Thank you for your consideration, and every vote is a victory for me. K for Kathleen, Missy McSweeney Zaitsoff. Hello, my name is Randy Rouse, and I'm running for re-election to the Santa Barbara City Council. Other than my service to the city this past term, many of you know me from the more than 30 years I've owned and operated the Paradise Cafe downtown. Both of those jobs have put me in the position to be in daily contact with my fellow Santa Barbara residents, as well as my colleagues in the business community. This gives me the opportunity to gain insight to how people feel about issues outside of the walls of City Hall. As both an employer and a sitting council member, I have a unique perspective on the workings of the public and private sectors. I am currently an active member of the Santa Barbara Chamber of Commerce. I sit on the board of the downtown organization and have, over the years, served on various boards and commissions that perform community service for our city. During my tenure on City Council, we have made great progress in many of the areas that are high priorities for the people of Santa Barbara. Our budget reserves, vastly depleted during the economic downturn, have been restored and should be at or above policy levels in the very near future. This includes a new policy that sets aside 50% of our budget surpluses to address our capital maintenance backlog. I have fought to enhance public safety by increasing the number of sworn police officers to its highest level in years. My colleagues and I have been successful at keeping our fire stations open, operational, and fully staffed, which is particularly important during this critical drop period. I initiated the concept of a community service officer program, a non-sworn patrol that provides an increased visible authoritative presence to our downtown business corridor. This new service, along with our established community liaison program, allows us to provide an extra level of security as well as help to those in need of social services. But there remains much to do. We have contracted to rebuild our desalination plant in the face of this historic drought. This will help to ensure a reliable water supply, but our policies and planning going forward must include good stewardship of this very limited resource. My neighborhood is the Mesa. My wife Janet and I have lived in our neighborhood for 30 years where we raised our two children. I understand the value of neighborhood preservation and the rights of our neighbors to enjoy the beauty and tranquility of this amazing area. Our traffic improvements on Cliff Drive, enhancements to Shoreline Park, and the undergrounding of utility lines on Cliff Drive are just the beginnings of the improvements to come. Please join me to continue the forward progress of this neighborhood, our Mason neighborhood. Please vote on November 3rd and please vote for me, Randy Rouse for City Council. Hello, I'm Sharon Byrne and I'm running for City Council for the West Side District of City of Santa Barbara. The West Side needs a voice. With district elections, we have an opportunity to empower West Side residents and get solid representation in our city government. As a community activist, I decided that instead of going to my government, I would bring our government into our community and make them part of the neighborhood. And I've had great success using that strategy in getting needed services for our neighborhood, such as street lighting and pedestrian improvements. As a council member, I will engage West Side residents, schools, nonprofits, and businesses, and I will work hard to address their concerns. There are parts of the West Side without sidewalks and facing too much traffic and too much parking congestion and I will deliver solutions for our neighbors on these problems as I have solid experience working in neighborhoods. For example, I organized my West Downtown neighborhood to reduce crime, littering, and graffiti. We had a wall in the area that was constantly vandalized, so we organized a public art mural for that wall and we selected an artist, a local youth in the community. I then organized a large neighborhood cleanup, cookout, and live music event played by youth bands from the area so that our neighborhood could celebrate a public art mural going up in our community. 
It gave our community a new sense of pride and identity, and it has stood for two years as an excellent deterrent to graffiti. As executive director of the Milpas Community Association, I've increased public safety, organized neighborhood cleanups, increased city responsiveness, and produced fun holiday events for families in our community. I've successfully reduced the impacts of homelessness in the Milpas area by pioneering the Milpas Outreach Project in partnership with the County Homeless Collaborative, C3H. I've won national awards for neighborhood revitalization for these and other accomplishments, working in neighborhoods. I'm excited about bringing these kinds of victories to the west side and to our city. Neighborhoods make up Santa Barbara, but the city must be managed overall. I will ensure that we are financially sound and that the city remains safe and clean. I know that we must protect what makes Santa Barbara special, and I am ready to do that from day one. I'm Sharon Byrne, and I would be honored to have your vote. Thank you. I am Cristina Cardoso, a candidate for the new Westside District Council seat. Many of us who lived in this diverse multicultural district feel that the West Side has been ignored and negatively stereotyped by the city council and by the local press. With district voting, we have a chance to make a change. But we will take, it will take a new kind of representative, a representative free from the past, free of personal ambition and dependence on party politics. That means no more big money campaigns supported by city unions and other looking for influence on the city council. As the nonpartisan candidate and the only candidate who can comfortably speak Spanish and English and understand the multicultural community, I will fight for those changes. I certainly intend to serve the four-year commitment and not abandon my community in the middle of the four-year term to run for mayor. My main concerns are the outrageous rent situation. Second, our young people. I have spent 16 years working with local youth on the west side. Most of our young people cannot afford the wonderful after school programs and summer programs available to wealthier families. Third, the environment. I strongly believe that we need to use bicycles more often and make more bicycle parking available for citizens of the community. Fourth, community service. We need a community center on the west side. Our only center is on the other side of the freeway. We need a more central, more local community center, not just for adults, but for teenagers and young kids. Local participation in policy and decision making by the citizens of the West Side community. I want to see members of our multicultural community actively participating in local government issues and decisions, working together on projects to better our community, our city. All divisions form a community, all communities form one city, our beautiful and wonderful Santa Barbara city. Please vote for me, Cristina Cardoso, on this election, November 5th, 2015. Thank you. Hello, I'm Kathy Murillo. It has been my honor to serve you on the Santa Barbara City Council for the past four years. I ask for your vote again, so I may return to continue my public service. I have worked to enhance Santa Barbara's quality of life, economic vitality, and natural environment. I made budget and policy decisions with a focus on our children, our families, seniors, and improving services to underserved areas like the West Side, my home district. In addition to working hard for the West Side, I have made thoughtful and fair decisions that affect our residents citywide. Under my leadership, the city's budget is balanced and we are once again saving money in our reserve accounts after the Great Recession. 
I voted to set aside funds to repair our aging infrastructure and for street and sidewalk repairs. Enhancing our libraries and parks is always a priority for me, and I have restored funding and resources for these important services. The libraries are open again on Mondays, and our new children's library, a fantastic public-private collaboration, has recently opened. What an asset to our families and our community. Crime is down, and gang violence is in a remarkable decline. Working with families, youth service providers, and the faith community, I helped found the pro-youth movement. We are a community-based effort promoting gang prevention and intervention. In terms of addressing homelessness, the city offers a strong policing presence, as well as assistance when a person needs help with addiction or mental illness. Focusing on the west side, I secured funding to improve the fields and facilities at Bonnet Park and to create our new park in West Downtown. I also funded improvements at Parque de los Niños in the Lower West Side. Working with the newly revitalized Neighborhood Association, I am improving the health and safety of our neighborhood, focusing on graffiti removal, trash cleanup, and assessing the need for more street lighting. I am committed to strong enforcement of building code violations, trash dumping, speeding, and other traffic safety issues through better community policing. I support city programs that protect renters and promote affordable housing while preserving the unique feel of our community. And our young people need economic opportunities. I have fought to fund and enhance the city's youth apprenticeship and job training programs, and I've worked on behalf of small businesses that diversify our economy and provide new jobs. I am always available to speak with city residents, making City Hall accessible and responsive to you. I ask for your vote and support. Thank you. Hi, my name is Andrea Martinez Cohen. I am running for City Council in Santa Barbara's 1st District to expand opportunities and empower the residents of the East Side. The East Side needs a stronger voice at City Hall to bring a more inclusive and accessible government to a traditionally underrepresented area. My top priorities, both in my district and citywide, are to maintain safe and healthy neighborhoods, protect renters and increase affordable housing opportunities, help small businesses revitalize our economy, and protect our environment. I have been living in Santa Barbara and working in economic development for a decade. First at Women's Economic Ventures, where I helped entrepreneurs obtain access to capital to start and expand their businesses, stimulating local job creation. I now work for a national nonprofit organization called the National Development Council, where our mission is to utilize innovative financing structures to promote sustainable development, create good jobs, and build better housing. I am really excited to bring this unique and much needed expertise to the City Council. I have a multicultural background and speak Spanish fluently. Some of my volunteer work includes preparing income tax returns for immigrants in our community and also teaching financial literacy to Spanish speakers. My budget and finance experience will help ensure our city is financially strong and able to provide the services city residents want and deserve. I will listen to the public and collaborate with city staff and policymakers so that we work together for all of the residents and businesses in a transparent and productive manner. I will fight to see that the East Side residents receive the services their tax dollars pay for in order to address specific issues like trash dumping, graffiti removal, speeding, illegal parking, as well as improved street lighting and greater enforcement of building codes. I will also work to see that there is greater education and outreach to tenants and Spanish speakers regarding important city services like water conservation, recycling, and public transportation. Additionally, I will work to expand opportunities for our young people, including recreational programs, internships, and job training programs. Santa Barbara is such an amazing place to call home. My husband and I have worked hard to purchase our first home here and establish roots to raise our family on the east side. I am passionate about protecting the quality of life in our community and protecting our precious natural resources. I am dedicated to making our neighborhood a better place for all of us. I am Andrea Martinez Cohen and I would be honored to have your vote. 
Hello, my name is Crucito Herrera Cruz. This is my political declaration and candidacy for the newly District 1. Vote. My name appears first in the District 1 ballot. Thank you to all the previous nomination petition signers and all the seniors at Presidio Springs for your political support. Thank you. Si se puede. Your civic support for Crucito Herrera Cruz has helped me as a grassroots candidate make a positive political difference with our newly created district-based elections voting system. My previous political election candidacy attempts has always pushed to legally set up the foundation for district-based elections model, per constitutional law, and as my political dream. This has been accomplished and implemented locally. Today, district-based elections will provide transparency and accountability to our local district council members. The City of Santa Barbara is a better political voting system because of the access it will create to district council members. Clearly, it's public documented that the east side and west side lack political leadership. The newly created districts will counter this because of the historical political marginalization where as Santa Barbarians will know who their district representatives and their duties are to city governance. As a candidate for local office, my three point plan is first, to increase the budgetary allotment in adult youth services. Second, work in improving and supporting the city's public infrastructure in all districts. Three, to be fiscally conservative with the, and responsible in the financial management of the city's operating budget. As a candidate, I will focus on my three-point plan. The first challenges in District 1 is the recovery of basic public services and the future vision of the property improvement district in the Milpas Corridor. The public solution is to provide political TLC with a strong focus on policies, budgetary allotments, and creating public investments to fund District 1 management plan. Current city revenues and taxes can self-fund the future's public infrastructure and community program needs in our District 1. In conclusion, I, Crucito Herrera Cruz, would be honored with your vote. With your vote, I will be a public steward in the city of Santa Barbara, California. Vote for Crucito Herrera Cruz, November 3rd, 2015 for Santa Barbara City Council District 1. Thank you. God bless. Gracias, Amar. I am Jason Dominguez, and I'm running for City Council in the 1st District to protect our neighborhoods, improve the responsiveness of the city to residents and businesses, and maintain the small town charm of our city. I have 25 years of professional and leadership experience to bring to bear on city issues. I have worked in the criminal justice system as a prosecutor. I've crafted sentences to put hardened criminals behind bars. And I've crafted rehabilitation plans to rehabilitate nonviolent offenders. I have conducted mental health competency hearings and helped the homeless find housing. I reduced crime from 20 to 45% in various categories when I ran an anti-crime task force as a deputy city attorney. I studied land use law and local government law at Bolt Hall School of Law at UC Berkeley. I worked as a county government attorney providing counsel to the Board of Supervisors and department heads and reducing, reducing risk and loss to the County of Santa Barbara. I would bring all of this background to bear to help as a city council member. In the second half of my career, I've been a leader in the nonprofit sector having worked for California Rural Legal Assistance and Legal Aid Foundation of Santa Barbara on issues such as land use, affordable housing, domestic violence. I founded a nonprofit called the Justice Center that focuses on legal issues for seniors. Before I went to law school, I taught high school. I understand the value of education and after school programs for the success of our children. My wish is for every household to be healthy and happy. Santa Barbara is a great place to live, but I want to make it even better. My key initiatives include, number one, helping businesses succeed by making City Hall fair and responsive. This will provide more jobs to Santa Barbara residents and improve revenue, 
which will allow us to replenish our reserve. My second initiative is to focus on traffic infrastructure and safety to reduce accidents and to help pedestrians and bicyclists. Number three, I'd like to expand after school programs to help kids be safe and to help them succeed. I have the qualifications, leadership, and experience to improve the quality of life for the residents of Santa Barbara. When you receive your ballot in October, I would be honored to receive your vote. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jacqueline Inda, and I'm running for Santa Barbara City Council. I'm running because I'm the only local woman running for City Council, and I want to represent our community correctly. I have been a community advocate for all of my life. I've been working with all of the different structures that we have in the city to effectively go in, listen to our community, and respond appropriately. Because of that, we've been able to do really wonderful things in this community, like a gun buyback. We were able to go in and address an issue that we had in our community with suicides and homicides related to these kinds of weapons. And we were creating a nonpartisan way to make sure that people could get a safe way to remove these things from our streets. I worked for the National Red Cross. I also supported the local Red Cross for almost a decade, and I understand the value of education. Getting our community to unite when it comes to disasters and when it comes to all of the efforts that we have when we want to voice our opinion, that's the magic of the city. But it comes with building resources and it comes with building coalitions. That's what happened when our youth in the city were committing suicides. We were able to voice and hear what our families had to say and create the kind of community response teams that would go out into our community. This wasn't an effort that I took on alone. This was an effort that all of our community did together and I chose to get involved because I knew what was right to make sure that we needed that voice. I know that our community is going to be greater now that we have district elections. Why? Because for the first time, we can have a local person on the east side run an effective campaign and have an opportunity to run and maybe even get into office. Imagine the kind of community we're going to have when we tell our youth, our children, our grandchildren that now they have an opportunity to grow up in a neighborhood, to do things that are right for it, and then run with that kind of community support. Yes, I am running for office, and I was one of those people who created district elections. Why? Because it's important to make a difference in this community. I appreciate your vote. My office is located on Milpa Street, and it's open to anybody who wants to come in and get information. I'm here for you. Thank you.